Hey, how's it going? So we're about an hour northwest of Sydney. We're near Katai National Park. I found this campsite on Hip Camp, which if you haven't checked it out, definitely go there, it's awesome. And I have the whole place to myself. So it's pretty remote, like you can't hear anything around. The main purpose of this trip is to give Pat's new makeover Bit of a bit of a shakedown because we're, me and Rach are going on a trip to the Blue Mountains and I've built a bed in the back with storage underneath. I'll give you a run through and I want to make sure it all works and if I need to make any tweaks or any adjustments, I'll do that uh, in this video. And yeah, I was just chatting to the owner, really nice guy. I'll put a link to this campsite in the description. There's also heaps of bushwalking and there's some caves down there. So uh, yeah, tonight we're gonna have a little, might have a little fire, it's a bit too hot, but we'll see how we go. You can see where I, where we pulled in, the grass is too long, so I'm gonna move it over there where the grass is shorter, and it's so, so hot, it's like 25 degrees or something, it feels even hotter. But um, yeah, I bought the gazebo, thanks Rach. And yeah, just uh, tune in and hope you enjoy it. Still super hot, so I'm gonna set up the gazebo. Yeah, I think, be, I think the shade will be worth it. Wow, this is so so hot. So I got camp set up, got my chair, table. Pat's there, we've got the gazebo. I'm so happy I bought this because the sun's just so strong. I don't know if where we are or whatever, but it's, uh, it's pretty warm. But now we're gonna go and take a little perimeter walk around the campsite. I'm gonna gather some firewood because the fire pit right there. And uh, yeah, because I've got a feeling the temperature's gonna drop. If it's this warm during the day, I've got a feeling the temperature might drop tonight. So it's like 17, 18 on the app, but it might feel a bit cooler because it's so warm. But yeah, what I've done is I've lost my GoPro battery. Oh, that's just popped out. So what I have here is Rach's GoPro Hero 7 White. I have no idea how good the quality is. Yeah, I'm gonna switch that and show you around. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's pick up some firewood. The owner who showed me around did say be careful for snakes. And if you do get bit, stay still because you don't want the venom to move around your body. So on that bombshell, let's uh, let's get into it. All right, so here's the campsite. We have a fire pit over here. It's pretty big. You could easily have a big group down here. Here's Pat. All right, let's go for a bit of a, a bit of a stroll. I've actually never collected, I don't think I've ever collected natural firewood before, so. This is like Michael Scott survival camp 101 again. Oh, that looks alright, I think a snake. A couple of updates, so um more firewood as you can see. No frame. Yeah. Firewood, is that too much? That's too little? I don't know. Should give me going for a while. And second bit of news, look at the stick I found. How big is that? It's got like a, a handle, oh, is that the, like a handle, like a spear end. Tom and Ed, if you're watching this, do you remember Stick Wars at school? So. Wow, it is hot, and I mean, it's hot. It feels like summer. We've had some really bad weather in New South Wales, like just rain. Anyway, I forgot, I was gonna give you a tour of Pat. We've been working on it for quite a while. I'm sort of in between jobs at the minute. <laughs> Um, but it's given me a good amount of time to convert Pat because um, you would think about getting a camper van but then I was like we've already got a 4x4 just turn it into bed frames so after many many YouTube videos it's one of the reasons why I want to make my YouTube videos to help other people if you have a, a Nissan Pathfinder R50 or a similar SUV I've built a bed frame in the back and I'll just walk you through what I've done and how I did it um, so yeah, this is, Pat is a 2003 Nissan Pathfinder. You can pick these up in Australia for like a really good deal. But um, 
yeah, they're a little bit thirsty, but uh, definitely worth it. And they have that charm. I just love the look of the R50 model. So what I've done here is really simply, I got a 19 mil plywood and I actually got, got it from Bunnings and they actually cut it for me into three sections. It's free for them to do that. And then for the uh, legs, it's two by four. Sorry, it's two by four for the, um, for the legs. So uh, yeah, it's pretty hot. That's why I can't think. But um, the storage underneath is awesome. I'll show you around the side in a sec. It's really cool. I'm gonna put, uh, I'm just gonna go to Kmart, either Kmart or Target and just get some drawers, like some plastic drawers, but at the minute I have everything in bags. I would definitely go with three quarter inch plywood. I think it's 19 mil in Australia because then it's super solid if you're gonna use it as a base, especially if there's two of you. So um, yeah, I, that's gone really well. Another thing, what I wanted to do with this build, and I haven't seen anyone do it online, so you might take this tip away, is look out for tri-folding mattresses because then you can just literally lay out your bed, it's super comfy. You don't have to worry about blowing anything up or anything like that, and you even worry about punches, and it's just super easy then. So I'll just unfold the mattress and I'll show you what it looks like. So as you can see, the mattress is folded down now, but, um, it's obviously way too far this way. I actually made the bed frame two meters in length. So it's super spacious and 130 centimeters wide. I did that, I found a mattress which was that size, like a double, small double bed. But we do have to push the front seats forward. I have a third panel which just has two stands, a couple of drop pins, and then you have that extra space, which I think is well worth it. I've seen lots of people do it this way, but I'm 6'1", so I'd much rather the, the extra space and you can put stuff at the bottom of the bed we've also got our dog bob so bob can sleep at the end of the bed as well but yeah i'll just show you how i do the extension piece you're in the car with me now uh you might shake because you're on the mattress sorry so what we have to do is we have to move those seats forward still with me cool so i keep the bit of ply under here under this bit i'll show you what it looks like un uh, underneath in a sec but um if you do have an R50 and you want that extra space, you actually have to take the back seats out. It's just four bolts. So you just need a, a wrench. I think it was a 10 mil or 12 mil. Anyway, it's four bolts, two on either side, super easy to take off. And I just store, store those in my house. And then if you want to convert it back, this all kind of folds on top of each other, a bit like a Russian doll, I guess, one on top of the other. And um, then yeah, that all stores in the boot. So anyway, let's get this back bit out. I've glued the two, these two um, poles together. I'll show you that in a sec. Yeah, it just makes it super easy and I've just drilled straight into them. So that's it, all complete. Super spacious. Then for the curtains, you can see them just there. I just went to Bunnings and just got these like stick on hooks and it seemed to work earlier, but I'll put them up later and let you know how I go. Yeah, I was gonna show you what I did here, so. Um, I've gl super glued, used Gorilla glue to get these two bits to stick together and the drop pins just go in the top. You've got tons of storage under there, which is pretty cool. I don't really have anything under at the minute. I've done the same on the back of there, which is pretty nice. How good is that? It's gonna be a comfy night sleeping there. So I just propped up the bed, the mattress, and that shelf is super handy. Got the esky there, some water, can prepare food. Then my cook set up, it's just here. How good's that? Not sure if you can tell, but I'm one happy man with how this has turned out. It's so fun to camp in. I think it's, uh, I think it's beer o'clock. Cheers. Oh, oh that's nice. Oh, cheers, so the sun is just not setting, it's starting to, it's half past six, so it's just cooling off. And now it's just really nice to sit like in the sun a little bit. Yeah, super happy with how Pat's converted, converted pretty much into a camper van. I've also got a pop-up tent in there, um, mainly for Rach to have like an ensuite, uh, but we can shower in there and they've got a portable toilet. So we're really like, self-sufficient now. And it sort of opens up so much more camping rather than just going to a campsite or a 
holiday park. But that's great, it's fun, and yeah, you get really nice facilities and stuff like that, but it just draws the crowds, and you can't sleep because everyone's partying. So uh, yeah, if you can go more off-grid, you get so much, so much better camping. I mean, look around, there's literally no one here. I might put the camera over there and get a shot, a bit more of a wide angle. Yeah, this is just epic. So later on, gonna cook some dinner. I'll walk you through that in a bit. You also get signal here, which is pretty cool. So, I should put my phone on silent though, it's a bit annoying. And yeah, walk you through dinner, and then we'll get the fire going. I don't have any fire lighters, so that's gonna be fun. And uh, yeah, just gonna soak up a few of the rays. It's just nice to sit down, camp sorted. Couldn't be happier with Pat. A nice cold can of stone and wood. Could be worse. If you don't have one of these cookers from Kmart, I would definitely recommend getting one. You just simply push that down, turn that in, and away you go. On the menu tonight, we have veggie burgers. These look really good. Trying to cut back on meat. Looking forward to these. Dinner is served. I don't have a plate, but let's tuck in. Really, really good. I have got a slice of cheese with it, but swings and roundabouts. They're so good. So they are, they're sweet potato, zucchini and corn. Very, very good. Okay, so just had a delicious dinner. We have packed up Pat, so Pat's all sealed up. Got a few items for the evening out on the table. One thing I did forget to bring was a lighter. So I do have the stove and some kitchen roll. So I'm gonna try and fashion some kind of lighter to uh, light the fire, because it'll be quite nice to get that going now. So uh, let's give that a crack. It's actually going surprisingly well, although I've disturbed an ant's nest and they do not look friendly. I'm gonna move that. It's actually worked surprisingly well. <laughs> yeah, there's a massive ant's nest here. Hopefully I don't disturb them anymore. I'm not gonna to touch that brick. But yeah, they're pretty big red ants and everything in Australia is, could kill you, so I don't really wanna disturb them. She seem to be going back in now. Well, this is absolute paradise. Just sitting here, watching the sunset next to the fire. Nice cold beer, simple things. The moon's pretty bright tonight. Hey, so it's been a little while since um, I gave an update on the vlog. Is it a vlog? I guess it is. Yeah, had an awesome evening. Watched the sunset, which you've just seen. Um, then we have got into the back of Pat. It's awesome. It's such a cool space to hang out. The few modifications I have to do is on the mosquito nets and the windows. I've got these mozzie nets. They basically go over the window, then you can crack the window and get some airflow. They're too small, so luckily I had some uh, electrical tape and I've just taped them to the bottom so no bugs get in, fingers crossed. So that seemed to be a temporary fix, but I need to get bigger ones of those. I also need to change the drop pins. I'm going to make like little guided, uh, I guess like frames for the, the legs to go into. So that's number two, and number three is a support for the middle. I'm, I'm not sure if it's the uneven ground or it's sagging, but, um, but yeah, we need to fix that as well. But, um, oh, there's a bug in here. There's two bugs. Where are they coming from? But yeah, overall, uh, really impressed with Pat and the space. It's been an awesome evening. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to put the curtains up. I'm just going to wake up to sunrise. So I will see you in the morning. Cheers. Oh, hi. I didn't realize you were there. <laughs> Wow, I had an awesome night's sleep in, in this camper. It was uh, 
yeah, it was just beautiful. I've actually slept in a little bit, which is nice. I got those few adjustments to make, but yeah, it's just so comfortable. This this mattress is awesome. It was an absolute bargain for yeah for the sale price. So yeah, time to get up and have some breakfast and then explore. Right, just had an awesome breakfast and a delicious coffee. Now it's time to pack up Pat, and I'm actually really looking forward to this because it's gonna be so much easier than packing up a tent. And then we're gonna go for a walk to explore the area. And I just found this trail on all trails, this 5K loop, it looks awesome. So we're gonna to drive to that after. Here's Pat fully operational. And here's Pat packed up, ready to go. Didn't take too long at all. Before we do go, just gonna do a quick little tour around the campsite and uh, have a look at these caves. Ah, so those are the caves which are built into the rock. So cool. I guess this is proper bushwalking because there is no trail, but it's, uh, it's fun. We're just gonna work our way around and head back to the car. Oh my god, so much. <laughs> <laughs> 